Good morning, Saturday morning. Thank you for joining me. It's funny because I asked my wife to get me a uh, printing paper. She gets it at Costco. Check it out. Now that's Costco paper. That'll take a while to run out of, but I needed it to print off some beautiful material that I have. And uh, some things I can share with you on this channel, which is great. All right. So I'm going to continue this article and finish it up today. Through Jesus Christ's faith. Here is another little known fact about God's righteousness. Christ's faith manifests it, not mankind's. While some may deny that he had faith, the phrase Jesus Christ's faith is clearly in the Greek. The grammatical construction is the same in Romans 4.16 referring to the faith of Abraham. <clears throat> Christ's faithful obedience to the death of the cross illuminates God's righteousness in all his creating and all his operations. In Christ, God justifies all that ever occurred or ever will happen, so that good comes out of it all. <clears throat> God's glory is illuminated in the face of Jesus Christ. In this figure of speech, it is made clear that even in the matter of faith, human achievement is not in view. But God's achievement through Christ, the critical operation of faith, is the faith of Jesus Christ. God's righteousness is for all, even as we read, that there is no distinction for all sin and are wanting of the glory of God, so also all will receive the gift of gratuitous justification through the deliverance which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 3, 23 and 24. Consequently then, as it was through one offense for all mankind for condemnation, thus also it is through one just award for all mankind for life's justifying. Romans 5.18 The all applies equally to sin and to righteousness. God is the Savior of all mankind, especially of believers. 1 Timothy 4.10 The righteousness of God could not be understood with entire appreciation if it were not to be granted to all. <clears throat> It would remain a mystery because of its limitation. It would mean that while there is no distinction with regard to human sinning, Romans 3, 23, there remains a distinction with regard to God's operation of justification. And on all who are believing, believing is the key, believing the evangel, that Christ died for our sins, for all our sins, and for all the sins of every one of mankind. Through grace, some believe in this lifetime. Right now, the administration of grace. Some are believing. They are called to be members of the body of Christ. But all the rest will believe at the consummation. When death is abolished, they will be made alive and vivified as well. In the final analysis, there is only one class of humanity with no distinction based on race, social position, or conduct. Yet what an overwhelming privilege it is to be granted faith today, graciously granted faith, the faith of Jesus Christ. Where then is the boasting? It is debarred. Romans 3.27 To God be the glory for the eons. Amen. This article was done by Robert B. Killen. All right. Thank you for listening in and appreciating what I do here and the support and love that you guys pour out with your comments. So grace and peace. Have a beautiful Saturday.